You and I, we need to talk. Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, First off, welcome. and if you're new OG, welcome to my corner of Al Gore's internet. I am so glad to be here with you guys today. I know I said that I was going to wait till I hit 200 subscribers before I did face cam, but let me tell you something. I realized that, you know what? I don't have to wait to buy a camera. I have my iPhone. Yes, I am recording this on my iPhone. Also, I just felt like life is short why wait i'm not going to wait i'm going to at least give you guys a little bit of a little bit of face cam you know because i just realized there's a lot that goes into this i commend anyone that does this on a constant basis you guys are the real mvps out there but yeah i just lost my train of thought add kicking in on full high velocity today anyways I think we need to talk and it's just a, a brief conversation because I think it's important and I just wanted to talk to you face to face because I, I thought that would make the conversation a little more personal. What do I want to talk to you about? Well, I'm glad you asked. Over the last few days, I've just been noticing a trend on Twitter, more or less in the Sims community, but also in the gaming community in general, and maybe outside of these two genres, I guess, on Twitter, but more so with the other people that I tend to speak to every day. Um, people have been posting that they have felt extremely discouraged about the lack of growth or views on their YouTube channels. Well, I get it. I really do. I understand that it can be extremely discouraging. I think I've said this before. I have quit. I've I've quit YouTube at least two or three times a day. It wouldn't be a day. It wouldn't be a normal day for me if I didn't look at a video that I created or that I uploaded that week or that particular day and it only got like two or three views for you know several hours and then the following day maybe another two or three views it gets very discouraging there's a lot of work that goes into recording and editing content uh, more so if you're playing, doing something like a Sims LP or a speed build or something like that. My regular RPG LPs, not so much. You know, I guess there's not as much that goes into it. But the amount of time that I take to sit down and record a video when I could be doing something else with my day to get um, a very little views uh, can kind of be heartbreaking um, especially when you started the YouTube channel started a YouTube channel with hopes to maybe change the world I know that sounds really really cliche and it might be cliche I don't know but why did I start my YouTube channel you ask maybe I don't know I'm going to tell you anyways so sit back and grab a snack or a drink i have my drink over here but i don't want to drink on camera i'm not that comfortable with y'all yet no you're in my house that's enough <laughs> so um why did i start my youtube channel for a couple reasons i love to play video games video games have been a large part of my life for a very very long time since i was a kid um yeah like the first um, games that I can remember, I played with my brother, you know, on the living room floor and or sometimes I would watch him and he probably would just hand me a joystick. I said joystick, yes. So I'm aging myself. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. It's a controller. But those are times that are very near and dear to me because I got to hang out with my big brother. Um, or one of my big brothers. I have two. 
but um, then later on in life, I started gaming on my own and you know, I bought my Nintendo, or Nintendo, I bought a Super Nintendo, I bought a 64, I bought a PlayStation, so on and so forth. I think we even had a Sega Genesis at one point. We did actually. But the simple fact, um, those times that I spent playing video games was great. Some of the fondest memories I have was spent playing video games with other people and laughing, um, laughing at each other, laughing at myself. And so I kind of wanted to share those same moments or different moments or make new memories with people and social media. And maybe in the meantime, entertain someone that was not having such a great day um, or great hair. You know, if they could yuck it up with me or yuck it up at me, maybe, um, Maybe there's some healing because laughter is like medicine. And I laugh a lot. Um, I don't know. I enjoy it. My family, you know, we're a bunch of jokesters, comedians. Um, but, right. Let's get back to the point. Um, I have one word for you. For those of you who have YouTube channels or even are thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you see other people who are smaller, who have smaller uh, subs amount of, a small amount of subscribers and you see them on Twitter and you, you see them mm, complain, don't get discouraged, but I want you to refocus. Now as somebody with ADD, that word refocus is like my my lifeline during the day there's plenty of times while i'm working where my mind veers off veers off to the left and the right i'll pick up my phone i'll um get up from my desk i'll have a conversation with someone else um i work at home but um you know it's just a matter of minutes or seconds that takes me to to get distracted for like five or ten minutes and there goes my day you know if I do that a lot throughout my day I haven't I haven't made my goals um, for work and things like that so then at the end of the day I don't feel great about myself because I know that I could have done better so I find myself saying refocus Brandy get back on the task so that's what I want to tell you refocus on what your original goal was for your channel is your goal to reach people is your goal to change someone's life maybe is your goal to just share moments in your game maybe you want to tell stories maybe you're a storyteller maybe you like to create so you're a builder or uh whatever it is whatever reason you decided to start your YouTube channel refocus on that very reason or reasons don't worry about how many people view your video and how many people don't view your video because those numbers at the end of the day will make or break you because you're so you're you're so tunnel your tunnel your vision is so tuned in on views on subscribers i get it the amount the massive amount of work that goes in to recording to editing to rendering to uploading and what have you it takes a long time it does and i didn't really appreciate it until i started doing it myself and I will say that there have been days when I felt like I filmed my best LP, recorded my best episode, and it seems like those were the, the videos that I got the least amount of views. And then I'll record something that is just, you know, oh, I'm just going to put this out there. And they flourish, at least for my channel. And I'm just like, what? It doesn't make any sense to me, but does it really have to make sense? Just take that knowledge that, okay, 
Maybe sometimes I can just relax and enjoy what I'm doing rather than being such a stickler and having a formula and doing this and that and just enjoying the the time that you spend on camera or behind the camera with your mic and talking to people. Um, I think that's honestly, I think that's probably what I what I enjoy the most is just talking to you guys, just popping on the microphone and maybe do a voiceover with a cast uh, or a speed build and just letting the conversation fly. You guys will probably see how my mind works too because I go everywhere. I think I'm always going off topic, you know, but I tend, I'll get back on when I can. See, I just did it again. I digress. Anyway, so what was I saying? Yes, I was saying refocus. Refocus on why you created your channel in the first place. Um, I have to remember that every single day to refocus to reestablish my goals. What are my goals for my channel? Um, I do have short-term goals. I have long-term goals. I had a short-term goal to do face cam once I hit once I hit 200 subscribers. But I, I said this before at the beginning of my video, I realized that, you know, life is short. Why not go ahead and put my, dip my feet in the pool and go for it? Um, or just not dip my feet in the pool, just get all the way in. So here I am, face to face with you. And let me tell you something about a camera. I was feeling really, really skinny, like slim thick before I got on the camera. Then the camera turned on and was like, baby girl, no, no ma'am. See this face? No. You all round up here. So, um, yeah, I, just, I played myself, but that's okay. I'm on here anyways, cause, because I will love you because I love you and I don't even care. <laughs> I just like talking to people. I love being, um, I don't know. I love not, what do I want to say? I love talking to you, all of you. We are like family on my channel. At least I, I hope that you guys would consider yourself part of my family, at least my, my internet family. Um, we're, we're a little tight knit group here. Um, you know, the, the ones that do come and stop by and watch my videos, even if it's like for the five or 10 minutes, You've done that, you've come and supported me, and I really appreciate that. I've said this over and over again, and I'll continue to say that. Um, I will say this, uh, before I let you go, um, I will say this, the people that come by and comment, who like your videos, you know it's the same people. Even though you can't really tell the likes but the comments the comments help even if it's like one or two people the fact that someone has taken the time to comment on your video you don't understand how that makes the youtuber feel it makes them feel like okay i don't want to cry i don't want to cry in my first time with the camera Okay, but it makes you feel appreciated and it keeps you going. Even when that day you may have quit four times and you've made up in your mind, this is it. I could be doing something else. I could be playing my game, really playing my game and enjoying it. Woosa, I just wanted to say that because I know there are plenty of YouTubers out there that feel the same way that I do. Um, thumbs ups are great, but someone that takes the time to write something out and say, hey, this is what I enjoyed about your video or this is what, what stuck out in my mind and great job. I hope you um, 
continue to, re to do more videos like this or what have you or respond to a question that you had um, those things matter um, I know that I work a lot and during the day I work 11 hours 11 and a half hours and I watch a lot of YouTube I consume a lot of YouTube while I'm working and I don't get a chance to, to comment all the time I think you know, I try to wait until after I'm done working or if I'm, you know, stepping away from my desk for five minutes. Um, I don't necessarily comment all the time. I may just hit a like, but those help too. But the comments, man, man, those are, those are the MVPs right there. Uh, I could give you all trophies. I know, I know we're in that that time where everyone gets a trophy but I really could if I could give you all trophies I would um sorry about that rude my computer just buzzed in all right so I think that's actually all I had for you today um I really hope that this video helped you um helped the ones out there that have been at the brink of quitting I want you to refocus and reestablish your goals. And anything that's worth doing is always going to be hard. Just push through, give it some time. If, if you give yourself, say, small chunks of time, say I'm gonna do it for three months, and then when the three months is up, tell yourself you're gonna do it another three months, and so on and so forth. And then one day you'll wake up and you're down, you know, a year, two years. The fact that you're consistent with yourself, it will be a teaching moment for you. Even if your channel doesn't grow, it's still a teaching moment for yourself. And then maybe, maybe while you're going through your own journey of growth, someone else is watching you. There's always someone watching you because <laughs> there's, there's gonna be haters and there's gonna be the people that wanna cheer you on. And then there's the people that stand in the background and watch you because they want to step out, but they're afraid to. But if they see someone like you going for it, maybe it'll give them the courage to do it too. Because there was somebody like that that did that for me. All right, so before I leave you, if you're not a member of our family and you would love to come to the family reunion, Hey, if you can't cook, that's fine. If you wanna just bring the paper plates, cups, soda, you're more than welcome, but I'll be bringing the macaroni and cheese. And then I know Keo Sims, she'll probably bring the spaghetti. Uh, maybe Black Essence will bring something. But, you know, if you're not a member, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? I would greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, hit that notification bell. So you know, every time I upload, I upload at least three times a week. We'll use this hand over here. Um, yeah. Anyways, I will talk to you guys. You guys? I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> I love you. Bye.